other than that, I, I really, no one, no one gives me shit for it, for, for it being a Chinese bike because everyone says it looks super nice. That's because it looks like a factor washroom, man. Nah. <laughs> but I, I spent a quarter of the price, right? So who, who's laughing? <laughs> wife yeah <laughs> soon <laughs> or oh, this is the one yeah <laughs> maybe maybe that <laughs> maybe don't ask that <laughs> yeah. okay <laughs> um okay let's go taha thank you so much for coming we've planned this a very long time we've rode together once yep. you've dropped me yeah um you are a friend of uh, andrew right yes uh, who appeared on my show a couple of times and I was told that you are a state. Oh, sorry, you are a national runner. What well, run? Just, let's just let's just put it as I was a runner. I was a track and field uh, guy. So, uh, yeah. So, after COVID, kind of stopped running entirely because of uh, you know obvious reasons, uh, and then you know started work and, and all that kind of stuff. So, I thought the most logical thing to do is uh, to, to pick up cycling. Mm. Um, but yeah, so a COVID cyclist. You, you are a COVID cyclist. Yes, you don't yes. look like one. No, but I. <laughs> Okay. I mean, but it's, 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 I mean, I've not been, um, uh, I've been in the, the sports scene in that sense. Like I've been running, you know, for, for, for as long as I can remember. So uh, cycling is, is fun in that sense where it's, it's something that I can like, you know, expend my energy. Um, but yeah, COVID cyclist. So what, what prompted you to pick up cycling? Uh, another friend of mine. So I met Andrew only like later part, only after I started cycling. So another one of my uh, uh, track and field uh, guys, uh, who you know bought bought a bike? So he bought uh, a canyon. No, he had a trek. And he bought a canyon and all that kind of stuff. So he said, buy, 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 buy. And it's like you know, circuit. You no, know, this was right after Circuit Breaker. You're looking at the screen. Uh, you've been saving up a lot of money because you know it's Circuit Breaker, and you save up a lot of money. So you're like, <laughs> just went click, and then that's it. Uh, okay. um, but yeah, like, I, I've always liked uh, the idea of cycling and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's always been like a distant kind of uh, uh, thing, but. I think circuit breaker and, and COVID just prompted me to click that button to, to buy. A, you yeah. still running? Ah uh, no, no. Totally I, cycle, I I pretty much just cycle. I did no no running at all. I used to um start. I started off running, but not like you. Mm -hmm. I did like long distance marathons. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we wouldn't call it a marathon. Just a half marathon, twenty one k's. Right, right. And then I picked up cycling, and I, I tried to run, but it was just way too slow, too long. Yeah. I totally dropped it I, off. Man. I would I would disagree. Long, cycling is long. Mm. I mean, you would cycle for three, four hours. You never run for three, four hours, right? So, uh, but the the one thing good about cycling is you meet friends, you, you you go out, you have you have coffee. You never have a have a run and then stop for a coffee and then go and run. <laughs> you know what I mean? That just doesn't happen. You run, you come back home, and that's it. So I think that's what uh, is is uh, is keeping me in the sport. In that sense, it's 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 a lot of a social kind of activity, mm. um, So yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your first bike and the subsequent bikes before this? So this is only my second bike. Uh, not one of those people that kind of change bikes every every other month, uh, but nothing wrong with that. Uh, so my first bike was a Canyon Air Road, uh, the ones with uh, the seat post, mm. the whole the whole jank. Um, so yeah, I had that first, and then uh, had had a bit of issue. Uh, probably won't dive into that that much. Uh, but Why not? let's it. talk about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically had, had had you know the seat post issue, and you know they recall they, they uh, I got a new seat post in a sleeve and all that. And one day when I was riding, I actually, the seat post literally slipped all the way down. So, you know, I emailed Canyon and I said, I, I don't think I can do this anymore. You know, I, I'm riding a bike to enjoy myself, not to get, you know, slipped on the, on the side of the road. So, uh, you know, I, I, I spoke to them, got a refund. Well, pending a refund still uh, for four months, I think, at this point. Um, and then Seeker popped up on uh, Chemical's page. Uh, the guy mm. uh, in, in Australia. So it popped up on, some, uh, on, on his page and I said, hmm, looks okay. And then I found out that there was a guy in Singapore that sold it, which was uh, Jack, was it? Bike Doctors. Bike Jack. Doctors. This was before he even got on your channel. So mm. I said, you know what, let's just, let's just go for it. It looks like it's cheap, uh, good value for money. So this is my second bike. Mm. Uh, yeah, so Jack actually appeared on my channel uh, some time ago and he brought in a Seeker Exit RDC. I did the whole unboxing, we reviewed his yes, bike. Yes, yes. But I, okay, that was from his opinion. Uh -huh. uh, he sells the Seeker, so mm -hmm. I don't know if it was biased or not. I won't mm -hmm. go there. So this is your bike. Yes. Uh, 
Tell us more about uh, Sika. So Sika is a Chinese brand. Yes. Right. So uh, Sika is a Chinese brand. Uh, I don't know obviously much detail on it. I think I've, I've read some forums on Wake Weenie and, and all that kind of stuff. And, and someone was saying, oh, we uh, make uh, uh, frames for a world pro, uh, a, pro, a pro cycling team, which they would say is uh, Israel Primatech, which is Factor. So that, that <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's what that's what everyone is uh, is is connecting the dots to lah. But um, yeah, so Sika is a Chinese brand. Um, you, to be honest, you can buy it directly from Taobao. I I I was like this close to buying it directly from Taobao. Uh, but the issue is warranty, and that's why I was going away from the whole Kenyan route, which, which is basically uh, not having someone that you could go to. Mm. So I said, you know what, I'll pay the premium, I'll go to Bike Doctors. You know, I, I took the, uh, the frame directly uh, mm. from him. And yeah, so right. uh, the Seeker, I mean, they have a couple of frames, right? They have the a Field, they have uh, the Exceed, which is supposedly like the more arrow. aggressive arrow. Doesn't look that much arrow, but but it does the job. La. What's the difference between the RDC and the, the non-RDC one, which is this one? Uh, RDC is lighter. I'm not so sure if there is a difference in carbon, but I know that the RDC doesn't have paint. So it's like like naked. I don't know if you if you uh, remember, it's completely naked. So mine at the, at the front is uh, the blue uh, tinge to the naked at the back. So I think you shave quite a few grams. I, I know Jack's uh, bike is quite light. Mm. Mine is not as light as his, but um, yeah, the RDC is essentially uh, a more uh, kind of like it's like an S works to your specialized, you know, in, in, in that sense, like it's, it's lighter. Uh, we will come on to the whole uh, part about this looking like a factor mm. Ostro van. I'll mm, leave mm, that mm. to be later, course, but let's, let's talk about the, your setup right now. Yeah. So, when you bought your Sika, uh, you just went over to the bike doctor's jack. Uh, do you have to place an order? Was it a ready stock? Uh, ready stock. Uh, luckily for me, um, I mean, I, I chose the, the, the frame, which is an M size frame, and I chose the uh, handlebar, which is a 40 by 100. So oh, you get to choose the cockpit size? Yes, so he, ha he had a couple in stock. Um, uh, Sika has a lot of uh, different uh, variations. They even go up to 130 mils uh, to 440, 420 to 380. So they have, and it's a, it's a, it's a fully integrated, integrated, so they have quite a, a big range. So I was pretty um, happy that at least, I mean, 400 to 100 is not, out of the ordinary la, so yeah, he had it in stock. So I placed the order. It arrived a day a day after. And what is your height and inseam? Don't know my inseam, but I know I'm like 180 centimeter. Okay. Yeah. And I, my, my, I'm, I've got a I've got a long leg, so as you can see yeah. from the seat post, is a bit. <laughs> it's is, a bit is this like the maximum insert already? Minimum insert? It's past maximum. <laughs> so I need. So I'm I'm waiting to buy uh, the seat post. It's just Shanghai is completely closed now mm. because of COVID. So. I'm a little bit scared sometimes to ride this bike just because it's like the max is here. I'm already like, yeah, right. like, like. So you still can go higher. Up. You can lah, but like, for you, can you still? Do you think you? you oh need no, no, to go no, higher? no, 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 no. This is this, this is right. like, I, I actually just uh, moved up like a little bit extra from my, from the bike bike fit, but uh, yeah, this is you. I can tell that this is probably the most I could go up. Why don't you just go for a bigger frame, like an L? Uh. <laughs> Good question. It would, I, is it because of reach? Uh, like I think I would have. I would have. I, I would have a shorter stem. I would oh, have like okay. an eighty ml, eighty mm stem. Right. This is a hundred, and a hundred people would say is like short. Short. The issue is I have I have long legs, so that's why the mm, the, the seat posts yeah. would go up high. So it's anyways. not not the torso then. It's the no, legs. Yeah. Did you go for a bike fit? Yes. Which one? Same same. Everyone does it. <laughs> Performance yeah. bike fit. <laughs> uh, why why and how much do you pay for it? <sighs> How much I do I, I knew I, I know I had like a, 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 a chunky discount because I've been with I, I I went to him like once when he was like donkey years ago when he had like a small little thing, so I think I paid like five hundred. Is this like a full on bike fit with the like pre fit yeah pre fit and bike fit which I think is super cheap. Okay, like I've seen some. But this is not the retail price, right? It's because I, you got a chunky. I, yeah, I, I think I, I don't think this is a, is a retail. But okay. I think I, I definitely got a discount from it mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, so I, I paid that. Uh, for that, I got the prefit where I would I, I went in and I, and I mapped a, a medium and I mapped a large. So which is why I was like, oh, you would, mean for the seeker? Yes. Oh, okay. So okay. I went there and I was like, okay, give me a medium. So they looked at the chart and mm -hmm. then they, they gave me a medium on the on the whatever you call it. And then and then I, went and I was like ah, medium. And then I went to L. I was like, I might as well just go for a medium. So what's wrong with the L again? Uh, too long? No, yes, uh, because 
like you obviously they say you know like you don't want ATM ATMM stamps because you don't have bet you don't have good handling and whatnot right so I would have gone like an AT on like ATMM stem it yeah. become too twitchy yeah so I was like yeah I'm not I'm not going to mm. and I mean it's not as if like this is not even the 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 the, the longest seat post so. A lot of the manufacturers have like a short seat post and mm. a longer seat mm. post, so I'm not even on the longer seat post yet. So I don't think it's 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 bad lah. Mm. Saddle yeah. to bar drop is crazy, man. Yes, <laughs> I, I I would. Yes, it's it's crazy seriously. But I I cannot slam. So if anyone is asking in the in the in Instagram, <laughs> I cannot slam because this saddle to bar is is is, yeah, is insane. Yeah, it's probably the most biggest drop I've ever seen on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, and would you recommend a bike fit? Should people get a bike fit? Okay, he, here's the thing. I think you get. I say yes, if you really don't know what you're doing. I mean, I I know maybe let's like, say for you, you you've spoken on the channel, have you spoken it before that you know what you're doing in that sense where you can like move a bit here and there and you can kind of be like, okay, I'm good. I don't think it's fine. But coming from someone who does not know anything about bikes, I said like, you know what? Let's just. I mean, I don't even know what the cleat position should be you know that kind of stuff so <laughs> i definitely saw a difference from before because i got the bike first and i think i was riding for like a week or two weeks before i got a bike fit so definitely before that uh, before and after is a huge massive difference mm. uh, and even even when i got this bike i had like two days before it was a bike fit right i tried to i tried to be like okay let me try and see if i can do it and even then i didn't feel good then i did the bike fit and i was like yeah this feels a bit better so it def there definitely there definitely there is some um, advantage to it. It just depends. I feel like on the person itself if they want to spend the money or if they know or they don't know about mm. their own bike. And unfortunately, I don't know about bikes so much. Or, or rather, I've not spent years on the saddle. Mm. You know, I've only been doing this for less than two years. Mm. So. I think I, I I don't want to particularly pick up on bike fitting, but I think the problem is. Um, Getting the right sized bike is very important mm -hmm. uh, and it's a matter of should you go for a bike fit or not. Mm -hmm. If you don't go for a bike fit then it comes back to do you know what to do, do you mm -hmm. know what you're yeah. doing, right? Yeah. So that's why I kind of picked that up so that people who are watching know and know what to make the right decisions. Yeah. Should yeah. they go for a bike fit or should they not? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it also depends. I feel like what, what do you want to get out of the bike fit, right? If you have pain in your knee, then sure, like if you really need to go for a bike fit, go for a bike fit and if it solves it, great for you but I feel like if you don't have any problems uh, now or you've been riding for like a year two years no, no, no problems at all and you don't want to go 45 50 kilometers an hour then enjoy mm. yourself go for your cafe rides and, and then go back home and you know all good right but but uh, but if, if you want that that extra <laughs> this extra that you want to feel better then mm. yeah. I mean as long as it's reasonably priced like I've, I've tried to look at others and the price is insane. I can't even justify that price. So I was like, you know what? I'll go for what I think is worth. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll pay for that lah. How much do you pay for the frame? Um, two point six. Not too bad. Yeah. Do you think it's a good uh, price, or it, it, could you have gotten something else? No, no. I, I mean, could I have gotten something else and be happy with it? No. I, I'm happy with this. I'm completely, you know, I, I feel like some people when they buy a Chinese bike, it's like, a, oh, you know, I could have bought like, a, you know, like this is like, I bought it for like a thousand, which is nothing wrong with it. But I really believe that this bike should be like $4,000. Whoa. You, you know what I mean? Like, like because I've, I've, I've ridden a Canyon Air Road where apparently it's supposed to be good and whatnot. And like, I don't see the difference in it. You know what I mean? Obviously, People would care about what's written on the on the down tube and whatnot, but I I really believe that it's as long as I feel good on the bike and I and I and I like the look of the bike, then I mean I wouldn't pay four thousand, but I'm just saying that. Sika's gonna uh, hike up their price tomorrow. They should start to sponsor me. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I I it it really is. I mean, for the price you get and 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 for the. For for what you get for the price is is good lah. Are you bothered by the fact that it's a Chinese brand? Like people have that stigma, oh, Chinese brand, no. it's going to break into half. Are you mm. not scared it's going to break into half? No, 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 not at all. I mean, I think, I think what has uh, helped me be a, a bit more at ease was Cam Nichols actually had a video. Sorry for shouting it out so much. But Cam Nichols had a video where he inspected the whole Sika frame from a carbon uh, layup guy, right? So, and he said, this is a very, very good bike and it rivals uh, a lot of the other bikes that I've, 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 I've done uh, test on. He did say that it was kind of thin at the top tube, I think he said. Uh, don't quote me on this, but um, other than that, I, 
I really no one no one gives me shit for it for, for it being a Chinese bike because everyone says it looks super nice. That's because it looks like a factor washroom van. Nah. <laughs> but I, I spent a quarter of the price, right? So who, who's laughing? Huh? So it's like they, they are just copying mainstream brands, those that are very popular. I, okay, I might get shot for saying that. Yeah, yeah. Saying but but would, you, would you say that the, uh, the C Cut is copying factor? Uh, okay, you're, you're, you're putting me on the spotlight. To be honest, I would say yes. I would okay. say yes. Okay. It looks very much like the Factor Austro Vamp. Uh-huh. I wouldn't have said this to Jack because he sells. Of course, um, no, no worries, yeah. no worries. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and, uh, yeah, to be honest, really, I, would, I think it looks like the Factor Austro Vamp. The seat state is different though. The seat state in the Factor Austro is a lot thinner. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I'm going to set up a bike company. I'm going to copy one of the most um, uh, famous brands. I'll just tweak a bit of it. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Make it, make, uh, make sure I don't get sued, right? Um, okay. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so... Yeah, if you put it that way, sure. I mean, you could, you could say that, oh, it's a, it's a copy of a brand. Um, but I think Sika has done well in that sense where I think they definitely have put out a good product in that sense. Like, it's, it's good. It's not, it's not like a shoddy kind of work. Like, you know, I, I know uh, there are other Chinese brands that are complete you know mm. probably won't say the word but you know it's not not that as good you know so Sika I think is is they have obviously invested more money into it and like if I'm going to <laughs> copy I'm going to copy it well and I make sure I do it well you know and I have no issues on that okay yeah, cool yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to dig, uh, dig deeper into that I'm going to dig my own grave man <laughs> um, okay so how do you compare this against the Air Road okay um, one it has no issues so, I like it. Uh, two, I thought that it was less stiffer, but then after after getting used to the bike, I, I really cannot tell the difference. There's really no difference um, in, in 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 how the bike feels. Uh, this is actually lighter than 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 my previous uh, bike, uh, the Aero. So, um, how it feels, how, how it differs, it's lighter. Um, I feel slightly more nimble on it because I feel maybe because of its of its of its weight as well. Um, but I mean, I have different wheels as well, so the the, the wheels are a big a big uh, a big factor la, What know. is the the weight of this entire build right now? Oh, I'm gonna get roasted if, if it's not the same. Eight point uh, three. No 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 no. <laughs> uh, it, when I when I built the bike, uh, it was seven seven. Oh. When I built the bike. Mm. But like, I, then I changed from the Ultegra chainring to the rotor chainring. I don't know if that shaved a couple of grams, but 7.7 was with the mounts and the bottle cages. No, uh, no lights, no GPS, of course. Like, mm. just bone dry. So 7.7. 7. 7. Okay, yeah. very light. Yeah. Um, yeah, could you just run us through the entire bike now? The so, setup? the Sika exceed um, non-RDC, so the normal version, size M. I got Shimano Ultegra Di2. Uh, I changed the chainring, so from the stock Altegra chainring, I changed it to a rotor chainring. Um, the wheel set is the Zip 404, um, the hookless version, so the lighter one. Um, and uh, GP5000 STR, because that is the only GP5000 that is uh, hookless compatible. Uh, you have elite bottle cages, Carbon or carbon, I don't know what it is. Uh, and then you got the C car handlebar. And then saddle is a S no specialized Roman Evo. So that's a carbon rail, but not carbon shell. So it's just like half and half. Mm. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, go and ahead. And then assume my pedals, I think that's about it. It's a duo, right? No. Just one sided? One sided. Why? No. Not the two sided one. Because I feel like you're paying like four hundred dollars just to see the difference between <laughs> left and right, like <laughs> yeah, just you know what I mean, like because I because I because I've heard that it's um, when you, I mean the left obviously it'd be best to have two, but to pay that much extra just to know what's my balance between my left and my right, I don't think it's it's that worth it, lah. Mm. Yeah. Um, rotor chain ring. Yes. And okay, I would say is it a crank set? It comes with a crank arm as well, right? Uh, it, it's a two piece. So it's the chain ring itself. So what the, the chain sits on, right? So that's one piece. Uh, even the, the the inner and the outer is all one piece. Mm. Uh, and then the the crank arm is another piece. It's lah. a rotor L do, right? Yes. Why yeah. did you decide to swap it out? Uh, looks better. I think the Shimano Ultegra one looks like. 
crap. Just get the Dura Ace chain ring. Fair mm. enough, but it was also very expensive. This is quite cheap. Okay, how much is it? Like 400, I think. Do you think there's any oh. difference in terms of stiffness? Getting it much stiffer? No. No I, difference I, at all? I don't think so. Okay, just looks better. Looks better, yeah. Okay, then yeah. looks better get the OSPW. I d- okay, yo, I don't even think the OSPW. I don't think it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think it looks nice. It's it's bling. It's bling. Maybe maybe to the cycling. I I I don't see the. Mm. I don't see. Although I do like the absolute blacks. Uh, absolute black uh, OSPW with, yeah, the, yeah. with the little. The hollow, I like that. The hollow cage. Yeah, I like that. So. Uh, yeah, but I think it's super pointless. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, are, yeah, I I agree that yeah, it's pointless. Yeah. Uh, but if it's anything, if you're gonna get one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, let's talk about wheel set. These are the Zip 404, 404 hookless. Yeah, yeah. Reason behind getting these wheels, uh, these are Zip, zip, zip Zip's hubs, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, so reason behind these wheels and opinion on hookless. Uh, reason behind these wheels. I was uh, definitely thinking of a, of a deeper wheel. I'm not really a fan of uh, shallower wheels. Uh, I live in the east, so it's completely... TMCR all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe for you, but uh, <laughs> but yes. Uh, so I, I I was definitely a, a, a fan of the deeper section wheels. I was contemplating between the Zips, uh, uh, the Kempak uh, wheels, the WTO sixty mm. whatnot, and and maybe one or two more wheels, DT Swiss and whatnot. Um, really, it came down to price, and came down to just wanting Zips. I think Zip. Uh, is has always been has always been the brand and i just thought you know what might as well try um and the the wheels actually didn't come with these decals so the white decals were actually uh pasted on by me where do you get it from i got it from a guy in uh, the uk okay so i'll shout him out his name is well he's not his name his instagram is ink my right co uk um so yeah, so I, I got I got the decals from him. I pasted it with Andrew actually. Mm. Uh, it took us three hours. Wow! Because, Why does it take so long? Because it's it's individual, right? So every single little letter that you see is individual. So we you literally have to like tape it. You have to tape where it starts and your ends, the mm. the old ones, and then you have to take it out, put like alcohol on it, like clean mm. it, and then take take the the, the 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 white decal and then paste it and make sure that when you paste it, it it's not crooked, right? So. Three hours. So behind this d- white decal, there's already the original zip. No, I, I took it ones. off. Oh, I, I okay. took it completely off. So how do you even position it? Because you don't have any guide, right? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I had to like. So what I did was before I peel off the original sticker, I masked it with ah. like a tape. So I, I taped where it starts and where it ends. So much effort. Yeah, <laughs> took it out and then put it back in. But I think it, it looks it looks it looks yeah it looks, it looks a lot better than just the um, yeah. old bike. Yeah, but well, yeah. So hmm. uh, sorry to answer your question on. Uh, Thoughts on hookless. Um, I think it's very good that we've uh, we've started on this topic because Envy has also started with their whole, their whole lineup being uh, completely hookless. Oh, have they? Yes. Uh, sorry, I haven't been updated. Yeah, yet. yeah. So they've got like the new two point two two point whatever. Like they have the whole range now, and it's completely all hookless, tubeless. Uh, no more rim brake or disc brakes. Uh, I think they I think it's it's tubeless is the way to go at, at this point. Uh, I know you would disagree, but. Tubeless is the way to go, and 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 I think there's not much disadvantage. I mean, of course, there is only a certain uh, number of tires that you can use, but I think it's growing. Like the uh, GP five thousands, you've got the Schwalbe, you've got um, Goodyear. So there's quite a number. I mean, it's not as if like I'm like hell bent on using that one particular tire for the rest of my life. So I, I'll just adapt to to what um, to what the the, the tire need. Uh, I mean, the wheel needs lah, which is. Uh, a hookless uh, tire. Mm. So yeah. What is the tire pressure that you run? Uh, sixty at the back mm. and fifty five, fifty eight at the front. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I won't go deeper into that. I run one ten. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but see, I I used to run one ten on on my clinches as well. Mm. Um, I don't see the difference. Oh I mean, really? Oh no, I don't see the difference in like performance. I thought I thought I thought that. When going down to like 55 and 60, it will be sluggish, right? Mm. I don't, like, it feels good. It mm. feels good at 55 and 60. Um, but I wouldn't say like it's like night and day in terms of like uh, comfort or whatever, but I may be wrong. I don't know. Uh, you are the first guy. I, I, but, but see, the thing is, I, I don't know much. Like, I, for me, it's just like, <laughs> I, I test it and I'm like this and I'm like, 
it's about the same. I was on the brink of uh, going tubular. Going tubular. You're you are saying this right now. <laughs> you are changing my mind again. <laughs> I, I think I should give it a go anyway because I mean I talk about bikes. I interview people. I think it's mm-hmm. only fair for me to give it a try. Yeah, yeah. If not, I think I'm always going to be giving very biased opinion about saying mm-hmm. 110 psi and mm-hmm. features. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So what is the price that you paid for the wheels? Because I think you mentioned about price, right? That's yes. The, you got uh, this. the price as well. I. I got it from a guy off uh, Carousel. So it's one of those guys in Carousel where he just sells a bunch of stuff and he has like, I, I don't know where he buys it. And I, I would I would assume that he buys it from, from Europe and then he just ships it out here. So he gets a cheaper price. Uh, and I know I paid a quite a, a decent price for it. So I paid 2.4 or 2.5. How are the wheels performing so far? Good. I mean, um, definitely a lot easier to to pick up than i would that i would that, that i would i would think because it's 58 mm deep right mm-hmm. um and my old wheel set was 58 and 62 this this is 58 and i feel like it's completely fine um you know starting and stopping and i mean i i, I cycle to work a lot and so I, i'm at the red lights like half the time right <laughs> so uh yeah I, I i think i think they're pretty good crosswinds i mean you know you got your dimples and all that supposedly to help with crosswinds do you think the dimples actually work or it's just a marketing gimmick? No difference, right? It's just like I, a... I, yeah, I, <laughs> it's not like as if one day it's going to gust and it's like, ah, it looks good, you know, like it really... But how do they sell the dimples? I'm assuming they're trying to copy like, you know, golf balls having dimples. I don't know what's the purpose of having dimples mm, on golf mm, balls, mm, but mm, mm. What, what are they trying to say with dimples? Is it, is it meant for crosswinds? It, it, apparently crosswinds, right? Okay. But then I, my, my, my thought is, if a wind's gonna hit you, the wind's gonna hit you. Yeah, because the fact that the surface area is so wide. Yeah, so there's no, there's really, I mean, maybe if you're really looking at like how, sh- how like, like small that that uh, that that wind is, and like oh, maybe it, it handles a little bit better, and you know, it's not going to affect you as much. But when a wind hits you, like it's gonna hit you, and you're still gonna feel it, right? You know, mm. like you're going down West Coast Highway, and, and exactly, and and, and and a truck passed by, you still feel, you still feel it. Maybe you feel lesser, but you still feel it, right? What do you so. think of the Princeton then? They claim that that wavy pattern. I know there's a there's a term for it. I just don't uh-huh. know what it is. Do you think so, that no, not sawtooth. Sawtooth is zip, zip. Yeah. This is whatever lah. Yeah, whatever that is yeah. called. Yeah. Uh, do you think that actually reduces the crosswind? I mean, I, I haven't tried it before. Uh, Are you sold to that? Uh, no. I I think I think for wheels, I think what's most important is if you know the the weight of the wheels because obviously it, it contributes to 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 the bike feel and and whatnot. And, and maintaining and, you know, speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maintaining speed and all that kind of stuff. I feel like as, as we sp- spoke about like the crosswinds and all that kind of stuff. I I would I would I would even say Singapore doesn't even have that much crosswind for you to, for it to be a selling point for you. You know. So, yeah. I mean, I I, I know most people that buy Princeton just buy it for the mm. for the sheer look of it lah, mm. which is fine, but. Uh, saddle is the uh, S Works no, or Specialized, specialized uh, Roman Evo. It's the long nose one. Yes. Uh, why long nose, not the short nose, which is getting more popular right now? Uh, I've had a uh, Specialized Power before, which is a short nose one. Um, but I was told that if I was going to be in a in a more aggressive position, and this is not from the bike fitter, this is just like friends and chatting. If I was going to be more in an aggressive position and I really want to put the power down sometimes, it's better to have a long nose to be like on the edge of the seat to really put the power down. And I, I, I have no issues with it. Um, but it's all about trying. For me, it's like the Sika, why not try the Sika? The, the long nose, why not try the long nose? Tubeless, why not try it? Um, so I, so having, having tried the long and short nose, uh-huh. uh, which is the one for you then? I mean, because people who wants to buy saddle, I was in that position like, oh, short nose, right? Mm. And then, oh, should I try it? Should I not try mm. it? Mm. So what is the advice and what's your take on it personally? Um, I think it, it all boils down to how flex. I think flexibility is, is a big thing, I feel like. I mean, cause you, can't, you can't really ride on this bike if you're not flexible enough, you know? So um, I'm fine with both. Uh, I think with the short nose, I had the power arc, which had more of an arc and I, I didn't really like it. It wasn't that big of an issue, but the arc was always going to rub uh, in my inner thigh. So I didn't really like it. So I just thought maybe just try. Uh, I was going to buy the Pro Stealth, um, but then I, I liked the specialized SWAT mounts at the, at the mm. back. So I just thought I'd, I'd, I'd follow on to that. And then I bought the Long Nose uh, Roman Evo. Why did you get the specialized sticks since you already have the saddle? The, the real we're gonna we're gonna roast a lot of brands here it's today. Okay, it's no, okay. no, no. So yeah. basically, the sticks I had the sticks in my old uh, my old bike, right? So yeah. what the sticks um, uh, 
So the sticks is you know you have a stick. So yeah. So how do you charge it? I remove that that USB you cover that and shove it in, and then you shove it in your mm. laptop. Yeah. After a while, after you charge it all the time, right? Mm. When you put it back onto the the mount, it starts to get loose because you're always pulling it back to charge. Mm. So I was cycling in on uh, the mount on the saddle. No, the actual light itself, because okay. the actual light you have to pull, you have to pull right. it back, right? Mm. So one day I was just riding on on, on Monday and it just came off. <laughs> And then yeah, it just literally came more. And then and then uh, I remember, I remember one guy was like, uh, you know, you know, um, uh, in, in a car, he was like beeping his horn. So I looked back, and then he was just like this. So I was like, huh? So I thought, oh, light. <laughs> so then I touched my light, and then I looked back, and I was like, if it falls now, it'll fall again. So bye bye. So I just walked, I just went. I just. Oh, it, yeah. it, it didn't mean, it didn't make sense for me to like to like salvage it just to put it back on. Just for me to have that issue again, you know. So how how long were you running those lights? Probably like almost a year, maybe. Okay, so it's almost the same time as uh, or if, if not, I've used it a bit longer. Mm. I've never had that issue. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Maybe yeah, just yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Maybe or you're just unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe so. Maybe if you put it on your laptop, right? Maybe that 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 uh, flap isn't being uh, stretched out as much. Probably because mine, I put it on my PC. Which is like flat, right? Way, so like. you really like have to like mm. U turn the whole thing. But if it's a laptop, probably it's just like like a small little mm. wedge. So maybe use the error lah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Um, dislikes about the bike. Dislikes about the bike. Um, difficult. <laughs> if there's none, there's none. Uh, not dislike. I, no. Okay, upgrades then. Future upgrades. Absolute black maybe. <laughs> well, no, actually no. You know what? It's it's too expensive. Uh, Seven hundred dollars for for something that just looks nicer is not is not something that I would I would be able to sleep <laughs> mm, okay. sleep with. Um, if I ever win the lottery, maybe like a new set of wheels. I really like the four four five four NSWs. Not because of the sawtooth design and whatever, just it just looks good. Looks good, uh, yeah. I know, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, but way too expensive, man. Six, yes, six thousand sing dollars. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's also insane. very expensive. So, so n- definitely not gonna buy that. Um, actually, maybe uh, now that we're mentioning it, maybe twelve speed. Do you really need it? I don't, but but it looks way cleaner. And if I'm getting a good price on it, like why not? Mm. But if not, no. Okay. Uh, let's take a two minute break. Before we go into IG, uh, oh, I have shit. a lot of. Sorry, can yes. I? Okay, we are still rolling. I want to talk about your your outfit. Uh, yes, sir. You, you've got a. It's very funky. Yes. You're all in purple. Uh, talk about your shoes and your shades. Uh, okay, so the shoes are S Works Vent. Uh, the the vented shoes uh, the S Works offer. Um, they are originally white, as you can see from the sides here. Um. But as you wear them a lot, the vent, n- nothing wrong, right? But it gets a bit yellow, mm. right? So um, if it's white, it has to be like full white for me, right? So um, I, I, t- I told myself, let's try to get it custom, custom painted. Um, <laughs> Super bling, man. Yeah, so I tried to get custom painted and yeah, I, I, I sent it out. I got kind of custom painted. So essentially the guy did it for me, how I wanted it, purple with a bit of green. People call it Joker, but I just like purple and green. No, no real reference to uh, to Joker, and then my Oakleys. This was a separate separate thing. Um, same thing. I got it custom custom as well. I had I got my logo on it and and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I like the custom. I think that's my my thing. Like just to customize something that no one else has. I think that's worth the money because it's like it's it's mine, you know, and yeah. and, and, and whatnot. So can you do the moonwalk on these shoes? Uh, no, <laughs> unfortunately, I wish. I wish. Yeah. Probably uh, get a lot of people. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry that I put you on a spotlight about a factor. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nah. I, want, I want I want to be very honest here, man. Like no, no, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll move on to the Instagram Q and A. If you guys want to ask your questions, you can follow me on Instagram and you can submit the questions. Um, you ready? I I hope. What is your FTP? It's not even related to your. Oh, uh, you know what? This I I know who this is. Okay, your friend. Andrew, no. 
No. This is okay, okay. You know, because Andrew said that he he asked something and he's like, when when he I did, ask this, yeah. he, he will come soon. <laughs> uh, what is my FTP? Mm. Uh, what is an FTP for my guys who are don't unfamiliar? Functional threshold power. And so what is it for? Uh, I I think it's uh it's what you can hold for an hour. Um, so I only know my FTP because I did uh the Alp du Zwift. And then from there, they kind of like, oh, this is your FTP. So mm. it's like 225, no, 230, which is, I don't, I don't think it's anything good at all, but yeah, mm. it's what it is. I, I don't even know my FTP, man. Yeah. I, I we should try it on TMCR one day. Yeah, like, 20, 20 minute, 20 minute all out effort, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I know you said that there, there are no dislikes, but the user would like to know, what is the one thing you dislike the most about the frame? If really that's okay, but like okay. So if you want to talk about dislikes, I would, I would like, I would like if it was more aero looking. Like I mean, that's not a dislike. It's not something that you know, like the bike is the bike. You know what I mean? But I would enjoy if it was a little bit more aero looking. That's that's the only thing. Um, they <laughs> no, but you know, like okay, like if I'm going to compare my old bike, they had creaks in the seat post, um, those, those kind of issues. But this. There's just no issues that I, 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 I foresee with this. Okay, no worries. We'll move yeah. on. The next, Sorry. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, not a question, but a roast. Your crank set is mad ugly. <laughs> no, man. This, this, it... Okay, I think it will look... Okay, personally, I'm not a fan of rotors uh, crank set. Okay. Don't know why people get it, but I mean, for you, maybe you like it. Mm. I, I, I like glossy things, so I think it will look a bit better if it's glossy. Mm. You, do you like the Shimano uh, chainring? It's okay, no complaint. It looks plasticky, you know? No, uh, to I me, it looks like, plasticky and like very like cheap. I swapped out my crank arms to the SRAM ones, Quark. It's oh. a carbon crank arms. Is it, is it like the, the chainring, but then the, the, the crank arm is the, the, the Quark, is it? Yeah, just the, cha- uh, just the crank arm is the Quark one, but mm. because I'm ru- I was running the uh, D4 power meter, so it came with, you know, you have the option to upgrade oh, to a crank okay. arm. Okay. Oh, you're on SRAM, is it? Shimano. Oh, you're on, okay. <laughs> I want to try SRAM, but okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford the full system, right, so right. I'll just put one crank arm there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, no, but that, but that looks nice. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people do that, no? Where, know, they, where, they, where they just change the crank arm. Probably, and then, I yeah. don't know. Um, okay, I would like the, the carbon rotor chain ring, the, the full arrow one. That looks a little bit nicer than this, uh, but I couldn't find um, something in, in, my, in the size and in, in stock. So this is, this is 5339. And I just couldn't find that in the carbon chain. It looks heavy, but you say it's lighter, right? I, supposedly. Okay, it looks heavy. <laughs> it, it, it felt light. La. Okay. It felt light. Uh, are you familiar with the brand Velo Build? I, well, I saw the video that you, that you yeah. did, Velo Build, yeah. But I'm not familiar with it. But I, I saw the video. How would you think this, this frame compares to Velo Build? No way. No way you can. <laughs> I would. No way, no. Hmm. I, I mean, looking at the paint, I mean, if you can come out close, you can look at the paint. The paint is like immaculate, like how it, it goes from blue to, 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 to naked. And um, I think it's miles apart. Mm. Um, oh, okay. Uh, it's a bit... Okay, I'm just going to ask this question anyway. He says uh, he loves the aesthetics of your bike, spot on. How does it compare to other similar priced frames? If but you how, what frames are two point six thousand uh, dollars with that? With <laughs> you can get the Ale Sprint for two point five k. It's an aluminium frame, though. Uh, I'm not sure about Cannondale Cat frames, but I don't think you can get a cat mm. frame for that price. Mm-hmm. Um, just to answer the question, I I think it's a really good bike. I mean, you can. To, for me, I don't think you can get a bike that looks as good as this. Just because it looks like a factor. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, you cannot you cannot buy a bike with with this price that looks as good as this with with its full integration with with with, with its weight and all that. You just you just can't mm. you just can't. On the same uh, topic, then uh, how how would it compare to other aero f- frames in terms of speed? So, for example, take my Venge aero frame or a Madone. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm cycling. I'm cycling with Andrew, no, and he has a Madone, and I'm cycling with you, and you have a Venge, right? So there's not really. So, but but really, there, there, there isn't. I really, I really believe that all this hype on like, oh, arrow this, arrow that, like you need, as they've said, like you need to be at 45 mm. until you've, you, you see the difference. You know, I cycle with a friend that has an uh, Ale Sprint from like 2015 
and he's like in front of me. So, so it's the rider then? So it's 100% the rider, you know, like everyone's going like, uh, I was, I'm, I was gonna I was gonna say JD but uh, no but JD is fast you know what I mean like, let, let's just put it out there first but aero does mean something but I believe that if you're fast you're fast you can put whatever bike you put on you're gonna be fast regardless of regardless of the bike you have you're gonna be slower maybe but you'll still be fast you know so um, yeah okay very well put <laughs> why no tube valve covers a pro Exactly, man. Yeah, exactly. Pro. You are not a pro if you have those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, what's the, what's the bloody like? You know, you take it out and you put it back in, and you lose it, and then you're like, ah, yeah, forget it. You know, this kind of valves. Have you when you you start pumping your tires out, right? Have you ever bent the the valve? Once, once, but not this one. I, I'm I'm very particular now because, because tubeless, right? Because tubeless, so you just like okay, slowly in, mm. okay, slowly. Yeah, but before with a clean shot, I just like whacking it yeah. and then I bent one it's like ah because so when you can, when it. you bend you can't you can't screw it back on yeah. right yeah, it, it yeah, breaks yeah. off very easily it's very yeah. um, soft yeah. the metal yeah. so you can actually instead of replacing the whole tube you can actually buy the replacements buy them from AliExpress really ah, cheap okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> seems like you can afford dot 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 why Sika then so I mean obviously he was trying to say you can afford a factor oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay I'm, how much I'm, is an Austro van what I paid for this bike is what you would pay for the frame. Okay. And I'm cycling out the door, you're holding a frame. Right. So? You, so you, you are still of the opinion that uh, this is still worth the money then? 100%. Um, so uh, uh, to, to answer the question, seems like you can afford. I don't know why it seems like I can afford, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm all for value for money. Mm. I doesn't... Yeah. Okay. It, you, you, could say, you could say that uh, yeah, I, I'll just I'll just step it at that. I'm, I'm all for value for money. So if I believe that this is really value for money for what I'm paying for, then I'll go for it. I don't need to uh, buy a eight thousand dollar frame to be like, I gotta, I gotta whatever mm. frame. You know, like if if this serves its purpose, which is to be for me to be on the bike and for me to enjoy it. Hmm. Okay, you have white bar tapes. Um, how do you keep your white? bar tapes clean you don't that's the, you don't it, it it does not get clean but um i try my best not to be on the like you don't actually hold the white bar tape so you hold onto the hoods which you know the mm. arrow position or whatever so i i hold that most of the time so it's not as dirty as i as i thought it would be but it's very difficult to clean i tried to clean it with i think someone said uh to use a a toothbrush mm. like dishwashing soap but I cannot be bothered. Just get black ones. I, I did have black one. This is like for interim, you know, just for fun. Okay. I'll be back to black soon. Um, how are Zip's uh, durability, the wheels? I've only had this for a few months, right? So I can't really... So far, so good, right? Yeah, so no far, so issues. good. No issues, yeah. Does which the, apparently, hmm. sorry, which apparently the Zip, this new Zip hubs are supposedly like, it's all good now. Like, mm. I, I know they, they had issues with the hubs uh, in the previous generations, but apparently this hub is... is, is uh, it's kind of uh, solved all the issues, lah. Okay, this the do the disc rub. On no, the but it screams. Is it some. because it's contaminated? Probably, but I tried to like sand them down and and whatnot, but it's still contaminated. So. Mm, okay. Yeah. You were anticipating Andrew's question. His yes. question is. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I didn't read the questions before, no but it's a really funny question. <laughs> Do you know what he was going to ask? No. Okay, he says, bro, just you're just left with two more grey stickers to change to white. What's stopping you? Oh. <laughs> yes, I, I am... Uh, I think he's referring to... Yeah, the, the zips right here, right? Mm. Um, Is it because it's just way too hard to stick on it? No, it, it it's easy, but I would think that Actually, good question. I'll probably do it. Lah. No, no, no. Actually, sorry. Because the ones that came with it were... Because this one is a full... An it's actual full... Um, it's not like a die-cut sticker. Right? It's so one it's whole like sticker. A, it's one whole sticker. Mm. And the one that I got was like a die-cut sticker. And I know it's going to be like a pain to do it. So I was like, forget it. Mm. It's enough for me. Um, okay, last question. Uh. Um, we've talked uh, briefly talked about this. Between this frame and the RDC version, uh, you say primarily it's the weight. Uh. Are there any other major differences then between this and the RDC besides weight? I would not think so. I, I remember that when I was 
I, well, I never contemplated getting an RDC because it was expensive. How much more expensive is that? I know it was like 3.3, 3.4. About another thousand dollars. Like almost, almost, which I'm like, no way. Um, but I would believe that it is literally just the weight savings and the frame colors. So you can't get this in, in the RDC color. Mm. Uh, I mean, you can't get this color in the RDC version. So I know the RDC has a new colorway, like the red. That one is a complete copy of the S1, <laughs> like the red to black. I mean, I'll be honest with you, that's a complete copy to uh, the red to black. And then they got like a new one, which is like a white to black or something in there, or white to gold, something mm. like that. Um, yeah, I think it's really just completely, uh, um, unless Jack wants to come at me and, and, and tell me <laughs> something different, but that's what I, that's what I, that, that's what I know. Lah. It's just completely just the weight. Why did you get his, his Chinese wheels that he's selling? I can't remember the brand. The Vortex wheels. Vortex, right. Expensive. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, no? Like, it's expensive. I think the ones that you... I mean, I've I, I, I seen them. It looks cool. Like, it's, it's this whole, like, carbon spokes. It looks like a lightweight wheel in that sense where it's like, you know, like, fully aero spokes. But I'm not spending that, that amount of money for... Yeah. Not, okay, not that I'm not spending that amount of money for a Chinese wheel. You know, this was probably made in China or in, in Thai. Oh, no, actually, zips are probably, probably are. I but just think it's a bit pricey. Expensive. I mean, yeah. nothing wrong with anyone who wants to buy, but it's expensive. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's a price point, man. If, if yeah. they priced it properly, maybe it's just the cost of manufacturing the wheels were expensive. That's but why. I, I, I don't think it's his, it's his uh, choice either to yeah. price it that way, right? Mm. I'm sure it's the, the manufacturer that, you know, gave him the MSRP and then he has to follow that MSRP. Lah, so uh, that's exactly why I don't bid him by the price. Right. Any last advice to people who want to buy the Sika? Um, would you recommend it? I would recommend it. Um, enjoy it, man. Like I, I think it's a, it's a good bike. I think um, if don't care about what people would say, you know, factor or so. <laughs> and all that, just enjoy, I mean, as long as you, I mean, the, the the point of having a bike, at least for me, is if I'm happy. Like what well, I think Andrew mentioned it as well. If if you look at your bike and you're happy to see it and you want to ride your bike, that's all that matters, right? And I think that's what's important. Um, don't buy it because, or don't buy anything because everyone's telling you to buy that something, you know? Buy it because you actually like it. And if you like Sika because you think it's value for money, you, you like how it looks, mm. buy it. But if you're buying it for the hype, if there is a hype, I, I, I say probably sit down and probably think about what you actually really want lah, because I think it's, Ever since I got the Sika, I've been riding a lot more. Um, and it's just because like, I look at it, I'm like, you know what, I like this bike and I, I really want to really ride this bike more, so, mm. yeah. Um, could you nominate one friend of yours to appear on my channel? Ah, uh, Calvin, Calvin Kang. What does he write? Uh, <laughs> S-Works. <laughs> SL7? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, uh, 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 Kevin is an is a interesting interesting guy. Kevin is also from a track and field background. Ooh. So uh, Kevin is actually a, a SEA Games medalist and also an Olympian. So, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Kelvin, uh, please contact me. I think a lot of people will benefit from you. On, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Ke Kevin, I mean, he, he, has the new, he has the new colorway. So he has the, the brushed... Uh, brush metallic so it's a completely mm. new S I mean it's like a turquoise ish colour is it? No 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 uh grey it's like a grey a brushed grey so a really nice bike um, but yeah okay Taha thank you so much that thank is you that so in much. uh hope you had fun thank I did, you so I much did. I hope I didn't roast you too much about no, it no, no, looking no, no, like no, a tractor <laughs> all good all good all good uh we, we try to be as honest here I mean people obviously will know that this looks like a factor there's probably lots of debate about it looking like a factor yeah. right um, thank you maybe, so much maybe, yeah. sorry, maybe after this everyone's going to be like Hey, Factor, Factor <laughs> I don't know yeah. yeah, if you guys see him on the road Just shout Factor, okay? Factor, yeah. Factor <laughs> <laughs> Thanks bro, thank you so thank much Thank you so much See you